Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th, Monday through Thursday. Now, of course, I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks. I'll use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading. I will pull one from my, my Angel Tarot cards. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications, because people tell me that they're not notified, which, you know, I, I post twice a week, so you should be getting a lot of notifications. But anyway, click the bell. Now, I am an intuitive channeler. My job is just, you know, I open myself to higher power. My job is just to let the message through, which I try to do. Um, remember, any cards that are reversed, they have a little stronger meaning. I will talk to you about connecting with your higher power, your guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, the source, whoever that is for you. So just, you know, whoever that is, that's a personal decision and that's all yours. Now, couple things going on. Now, we are coming to that full moon, which, I mean that new moon, which will be on the 8th, okay? We are in the opening parts of the Lion's Gate portal, which has a lot of transformation energy. It's got, you know, there's a lot of things that are happening, and the portal reaches its opening when the moon is new, and this will be a new moon in Leo. So there's going to be lots of energy coming around. Actually, it's going to be a buildup. It's going to be like a drum roll. I kind of hear like that, blah, 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 the drum roll happening. And at the drum roll and the beat just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So that can be a little irritating because it can be one of those really very strong resonant beats that you just, you know, it's like when you're having that headache and the headache just, you know, keeps going stronger and stronger. Anyway, anyway, let me go through a couple of things. Okay, on the second... Leo opposes Saturn, which is retrograde in, Aquari in Aquarius. Remember, Saturn in Aquarius is illusion versus reality. Leo wants honesty, so there could be some major revelations happening, things coming out. Now, we then have on the third, Virgo trines Uranus. Uranus is in Taurus right now, and this is all the expect the unexpected. Virgo might try to hold things back a little bit and make it nice, but then on the 4th, Leo squares Uranus in Taurus. And so, you know, kind of the 4th could be one of those days where things just kind of, um, you know, I don't know, I don't want to say blows up, but things just kind of like there could be some major outbursts, there can be some major changes going on, um, you know, in the world per se. Okay, now. Let's go ahead. What we're going to do now, because, you know, this is, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, too much to really, too much to really talk about. But let's go ahead and we're going to use the Weight Rider traditional tarot. And I, yes, I have prayed, meditated, and infused Reiki energy. We're going to pull three cards. One has already fallen. Let's see what we have here. And this is going to be kind of an overview for... This week. Now, last for the weekend, I did this. I don't do this all the time, but for the weekend, I did this, and we got some very strong. We got the the Tower card, and we got the Judgment card. But we did get that Nine of Pentacles, which is a lovely, safe type of energy. It means all will be well. So let's see what we have going on now for this week. First card. Okay. So now we have this is reversed, reversed a little stronger. This is pentacles. Pentacles is our earth energy. It is our Virgo. So we do have, what did I say? Virgo was trining with Uranus. So that was going to be on, what was that, the third? So there could be some good energy there. But this is, um, you know, so that could be Virgo. It could be Capricorn. It could be also Taurus energy. It is has to do with money energy. It has to do with your job, your career energy also. It could be about your home. The six, six is the number of man. Six is what we make of things. This is what we put into this. But the six of pentacles is, is about money coming from an unusual source, money meeting our needs. So if this is something that you've been really, really worried about money, there could be some sort of coming, you know, giving back to us. There could be 
um, an unexpected um, gifting of money. So there is this really positive money, but however, if you notice, so there is the, you know, there is the, um, the scales, but also too, these people don't necessarily look like they're, they're in the best of shape. And then we have this um, very, I don't know, this rich personality, this rich character is providing. So, so there's, there's a little bit, I kind of feel like there's a, um, I don't know, a quid per quo here with this money situation. So be careful about that because a quid per quo is, I'll do this for you, but you have to do this for me. Next card. Okay, so now we have a five. Five has some change energy to it, positive or negative. The Hierophant is about tradition, okay? The Hierophant is very, um, you know, kind of a government type of card. The, the um, Hierophant is very much um, a static type of card. It's not a lot necessarily a lot of activity. There's rules and regulations with the Hierophant. At least that's what I'm picking up right now. So there could be this rules and regulation going on. There could be something that um, there's there's kind of an enforcement of some sort of energy here. Now the Hierophant is also about gathering with people that hold your values and hold your um, you know your views. Being around like-minded people. But the Hierophant is always yeah, oh, the Hierophant is a card that I'm always a little bit rebellious against. It's kind of like do it my way, and I'm you know you know and I'm kind of like, oh, we will not, or I will not do it that way. So we so between these two energies, there's there's a little bit of a um, you know a I don't know it, it, it's an enforcement type of energy. Okay, so let's see our next card. Ah, this was reversed. Now we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Queen's underlying energy is water. Cups is water. So this is a water, water. Very emotional, very maternal, very caring, very understanding type of energy. So we've got, you know, and this has a very masculine energy. This has a very feminine energy. This is, this is all about rules and regulations. This one's looking deeper. This one's looking at the reality. This is looking at the feelings. This is, this is a, you know, there's a spiritual awakening with this energy also. The Queen of Cups, this is Cups is water, like I said, so it's water, water type of energy. Caring, maternal, things are take, being taken care of. Um, you know, the maternal energy wants to make everything right. Now, I feel like I need to pull just a, a, another couple of cards. So let me go on with this and see what we have here. Because it's, um, you know, money coming from an unexpected source. There is a lot of rigidity here. There's a lot of caring and maternal type of feminine energy there. So let's see what we might, el we might have elsewise or else, you know, whatever. Here we are. Now, I'm just going to pull one. I just feel one. Let's see what we have here. The lovers. Okay, so now we have a six energy again. Okay, so we talked about the six. Lovers is relationships. Lovers is caring for each other. Lovers is also um, bringing things out about each other. So we've got some very interesting energy here. We've got some very strong energy. Let's see what's going to happen. Um, Let's see what's going to happen. Okay? Okay. Now, let's start our readings. Hello, my Cancers. How are you? Well, let's see what we have going on for this week. There's some really strange energies right now. And um, I do feel like there's a lot of divine intervention happening. So if that's what you need, you basically call up to your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, your source, whoever that is for you, because there's, I mean, it's been very close. There's been, there's, you know, I feel that divine energy is extremely close with this week. Okay, let's see what we have here for my cancers. Okay, these are reversed. First card, here we go. The world, the world, things are opening up for you, okay? Maybe they don't feel like it. But, the, but things are. And so with the world, okay, we have a 21, 2, 1, 2 choices, partnershiping, partnershiping, blah, 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 being a partner with someone, but also choices. You know, do I go this way? Do I go that way? Ones have this new beginning energy too. You can add it together. It becomes a three. 
creativity, you know, so there's something, remember to write down the numbers, that's really important because the angels have been speaking with numbers really strongly. But the world, this is Archangel Michael, the warrior, the defender, the, you know, he gets out there and he basically clears your path. But this is about things now finishing for something new to start. So if you've been waiting on, if you've been waiting and you've been waiting and you've been waiting, you see, you should, I'm going to say, resolution should be coming to you. You know, I would say, you know, the world, you know, you should be seeing resolution, okay? You should be getting ready to, and again, I'm not a lawyer, so this is not legal. I'm just using this as an example. You should be able to, you know, sign on the dotted line, you know, so this is, are you been, have you been waiting for your new home? Have you been waiting for, you know, so it's like, you, you know, using an example. So you've been waiting for your new home so that your life in, in your new home can begin. But this is a happy ending for a happy beginning to start. Okay, I like this one. Um, this is this is good. Anyway, Michael, a very happy ending coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So you should have grown through your traumas and your trials, and now you take a new maturity and a new spirituality into your new future. Your next card, and this goes along with, that long reading had a lot of new beginnings in it too, didn't it? Next card reversed. High Priestess. So now we have a 212. You've got, there has to be something with that. You know, put it in the um, search engine, 212, angel numbers, click on, um, on enter. Archangel Heniel, this is connecting with higher power. This is connecting with your, with your supernatural energy, your intuition. This, this lion's gate has a lot of this. Now, everyone th thinks about that 88 is going to be like, oh, this is when we do whatever we do according to what I'm feeling and stuff, and remember I talked about the drum in the in the um, introduction, this is all, it's all happening now. There, this is, this is the buildup. This is where things are moving, okay? That's the crescendo. That's the peak. But this is now all the move, this is all the buildup, these days leading up to that eighth. Anyway, Powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. So even though there's a lot of energies going, just know everything works the way they're supposed to. Anyway, last card, the nine of Gabriel. So you have a two, one, two, nine. Okay, nine has a completion. Nine has a wrap up. Nine has a uh, let's let's this is done now. Gabriel is our fire energy, of course. It is our Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, passionate burning. This is standing, this is basically standing firm now. This is, this is standing with confidence. This is saying, I know what I know, I want what I want, and I'm going where I want to go. So you've gone through a lot to get to this place. So this is not compromising. This is not giving in. This is saying, I am standing firm. I am standing tall. Now, Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility environmental activism. So the thing is, you could not move forward unless something completed. Okay? Okay. So let's go on now for my cancers. Oh, I like these cards, though. I do like them. The 212, definitely look those up. And then go ahead and add the 9. Kind of maybe even the 29. But definitely the 212 first. Oh, well, we'll definitely take you. Here we are. Ego. Ego. So now we have a 15. 15 is a, is a, a you know, it's a five energy. So there's five, five, five. This is, and that's about change, change, change. Okay. Positive, negative, but it's all change energy. It could be a 10 plus a five. We talk about the one, you know, so one or a 10, which is a, you know, transition, but it's five. It's change, positive, negative. Archangel Jophiel. So we have Michael, Heniel, and Jophiel wanting to help you out, wanting to pull you forward, pull you forward, push you forward. Now, ego is this is this is kind of a this is a tricky little one. This is a tricky wicket. Um, this is where you know sometimes this is you know where this is saying stand firm, and you've got all of this. This is kind of being a little bit worried. This is kind of saying, you know, there's two things. One is you can be standing on your ego, and you might be, you know, you might be saying, no, 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 no. 
where it's just ego talking. But also, does that make sense? Let's see, how do we want to put that differently? You know, maybe maybe you've been in a situation and you've been pushed so much that you don't want to, you know, you don't want to give in at all. So that's part of that. That could be ego. But the other thing about ego, ego, it gets scared easily. Okay? So there could be some kind of a fear thing going on. It's kind of like, you know, I don't know, maybe you've been pushing so much or you've been, you know, just trying to survive so much. And now that as things start to loosen up and start to get better and start to be happier or start to move forward, now it's kind of like, oh, what am I going to do? So there is a little fear base with ego, okay? Again, connect with your higher power. Remember, you have these extremely powerful angels, archangels, to help you through. That's what Nine of Gabriel is saying. You've got a supernatural um, posse behind you. Okay, you, you know, your back, you know, your back is covered, you know, you, you know, they've got you, higher power has you. Here we go. A false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So it's kind of like instead of seeing the um, spiritual dynamics, instead of seeing what's unfolding for you in the divine, you start getting caught up in, well, okay, uh, you know, so instead of looking at the supernatural, you start looking at the natural. Instead of looking at the metaphysical, you start looking at the physical, okay? And so it kind of is a mind game. It's kind of, too, it's saying that, you know, this this happens a lot. Um, this is actually the, um, in the traditional um, weight rider, this would be the devil. And this would be kind of like letting letting the devil, you know, play with your thoughts a little bit instead of, knowing that this is the time where you can be free and you can escape the bonds, the chains. It's kind of like, well, maybe I'm better where I'm at instead of trying, instead of going forth a little bit. It's kind of like, you know, oh, better the devil you know than the devil you don't. Okay, but, but, so it, it, it's, it's fear-based. It's, it's trying to trap you from moving. Now, but then there's also, and I've been saying this a lot lately, you know, this is, you know, when something's trying to keep you from moving into a destiny, it's kind of, you know, say this, you know, I must be doing something right. I've got the devil so uptight. So whenever you have that darker energy trying to force you or keep you from moving into that lighter energy, know that you are probably, you are really on the right path. You are doing what you need to do. But that darker energy does feel very overwhelming. But you've got the world You've got the high priestess. You've got the stand firm. Okay? Okay. Oh, let's go on. Crystal now for my cancers. Here we go. So, yeah, I told you that a lot of the readings, I think all of the readings have had a really strong spiritual component to it. I mean, and, and you know, sometimes, sometimes it's really strong. Sometimes it's not there at all. I just got to, you know, whatever higher power gives me, right? I just have to give that. Anyway, let's go on here. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, even if it feels um, scary. You've got all these angels. Even Joe Feel. Joe Feel's got your back. Let's see what crystal or energy for my cancers. Smoky quartz. Oh, this is good because this dispels negative energy, home protection, earth connection, also achieving career success. So you're doing something right, my Cancers. You're doing something right. It's coming together. You're doing something right. Okay? Okay. Now, my Cancers, remember the button. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. It does help. As always, my Cancers, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.